nearly impossible for a person to come forward with this story of sexual abuse as a child. And I want her to bike across the country from Chicago to New York to raise awareness for this epidemic. When Dave came forward about his abuse, I almost wasn't surprised because his behavior just told me something's not right. A Peloton is actually it's a place where we kept our teammates safe and we haven't done a very good job of keeping our kids safe. I learned in 2012 that in Indiana, one in six girls have been raped or sexually assaulted by the time they leave high school. People get divorced over it, people die over it. I want to show that you can overcome this. It's, it's a challenge, obviously. I'm still in this. To ride from Chicago all the way to New York for survivors is beautiful, and I really appreciate it. You know, Dave's story is my story. Dave's story is so many people's stories. It's that same guilt. It's the same anger. It's the same rage. It's not just a bike ride. It's a journey to wholeness. It's a journey to life. To me, what is so awe-inspiring about Dave's ride, it's the individual people that you can communicate with along the way. You're riding your bike and you're getting all this sensory stimulus from nature and you're meeting all these great people across the country. Your heart is open and when you open yourself to pain as much as that hurts, you open yourself to joy. There are bills pending that will make such a significant change. There should be no expiration on the crime because there's no expiration on the memory. My father once said to me that um, the right thing to do is often the hardest thing to do, but you do it anyway. Ultimately, some things in life, they can't be fixed. You're always gonna carry them. But how much of that burden you choose to carry, that's something that you can't manage. We know Republicans, Democrats want to come back and do the right thing. They want to stand up for us. So we're begging you, 